If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, and reliable NBA 2K19 MT, make sure to visit the link in the description and use code MASSA for 5% off all orders. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. In today's video, we finally know where Kawhi Leonard is ending up. He is the newest member of the Los Angeles Clippers. Well, actually, I don't even know if I can say newest member because along with signing Kawhi Leonard, the Los Angeles Clippers also made a move for Paul George. It happened all this morning around 2 a.m. Unfortunately, I was asleep for it. I woke up to that news, and I was, I've never been more confused in my life than when I saw a notification that said, breaking down the blockbuster move of the Clippers trading for Paul George. I was like, what in the world? I was like, what is going on right now? And Kawhi made his decision. I think I saw that he met with Paul George in L.A. earlier this week, and they both wanted to play together. Obviously, that can't happen on the Lakers because there's no cap space there anymore. Um, but, yeah. I'm honestly in shock that somehow this was managed to happen. I mean, huge shout out to the Clippers for getting this to go around and go through because I honestly didn't think that, I mean, if they had just gotten Kawhi, they were going to be a championship contender. But now with Paul George as well, that is going to be a pretty deadly one-two punch. So yeah, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, uh, by the time I'm recording this video, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning and Lil St. BB had not updated his roster. So I do this manually. I'll go through the trades with you guys right now a little bit. So... Obviously, they just signed Kawhi Leonard, so I just put him on this team. That's the max contract that lets you give him. I can't give him 142 over four. I can only give him 122, so it's the game. It's not me. There's nothing I can do about it. But the trade for Paul George was the Clippers are sending Oklahoma City. They're unprotected 2022, 2024, and 2026 first-round picks. They're unprotected 2021 and protected 2023 first-round picks via Miami. And the rights to swap picks with the Clippers – in 2023 and 2025, and they also had to send them Shai Gilgis Alexander and Danilo Gallinari. That is a lot of draft picks. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of draft picks. And I know every time that a team trades somebody so many draft picks, we all think of one thing, and it's basically when the Celtics kind of fleece the Nets. Didn't really fleece them anymore, though. I don't really think anybody's really thinking that. But this is a little bit different than that trade because when they traded Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce over there, they were like 35, 36. Paul George is in the prime of his career right now. It's going to be a lot a lot different. Now, he's going to be totally a serviceable, solid role player, even all the way to 2026. So, yeah, let's just hop into this rebuild immediately. Um, I do want to obviously start Patrick Beverly for the first year. I'm thinking about trading Lou Will for a power forward just because, yes, Lou Will's an unbelievable six-man, but, A, he regresses so hard in this game. And let's see. I mean, he has a team option next year, but I think because, I mean, Paul George is honestly going to be starting at the shooting guard position. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave him there. So now if I can maybe potentially move Lou Will for a power forward or a center to play next to uh, Montrez Harrell, like a Lowry Markkinen immediately might be a nice pickup. Uh, Buddy Heald, Kyle Kuzma. Ooh, do I want Kyle Kuzma? Pascal Siakam just screw over the Raptors a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to go McCollum's here. All right, I'm between right now. I'm between Pascal Siakam and Kyle Kuzma. I'm honestly kind of thinking Kuzma because we also do have to reload on draft picks, and that definitely helps us reload a little bit. So, yeah, let's pick up Kyle Kuzma. Welcome to the Los Angeles Clippers. And, I mean, just look at this team. I don't know why Montrez Harrell wouldn't start over Vika Zubak, but, yeah, it's absolutely insane. That's, that's like, basically my one way to describe it. Thank God there's going to be some transparency now in the NBA. Like, if Kawhi went to the Lakers, which I would have been pissed about, like, not mad, but I just wouldn't have understood it, That, that like, that's a walk to the finals. That's a walk, basically, to a free ring. Like, it, I mean, who are you really competing with? I mean, not the Warriors anymore. So, I don't know. I'm very, very excited about this. We're going to leave basically the rest of the team the way it is for the first year. Actually, maybe not. Uh, I think I'm going to trade Moher. Who are you? Oh, is he a rookie? Okay, I don't know who this guy is, but he can get some backup power forward minutes. I'm going to trade Mo Harkless for a point guard, and then we're going to be all set. So, Mo Harkless, can I please get a point guard for you? Let's see some sort of options here. I don't really want Brad Wanamaker. Corey Joseph wouldn't be a horrible option. Uh, yeah, let's take Corey Joseph. Uh, he's on a three-year deal, but honestly, worst comes to worst, I'll move him this offseason. So, Harrell will be starting. Uh, I actually want Shemet to be my sixth man. So, Zubak are going to play about 18 minutes a night. We're going to go 25 here. Corey Joseph can get 15. This guy can get 10 minutes. And then Jerome Robinson, I will sign in the G League. I'm honestly surprised, like, Jerome Robinson, like, or Sindarius Thornwell, like, wasn't included in those trades. But, hey. Whatever. Uh, Paul George, 36 tonight. Same with Kawhi. Beverly's going to play a lot of 32. Kuzma, 35. And then 33 to Harrell. So that's going to be the rotation for the first year. This team's going to be extremely competitive. Robinson will be in the G League. 
and I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. So first year is over. We go 63 and 19. Definitely will take that. Definitely looking to improve that after this year, which is crazy to say. Harden MVP, John Morant Rookie of the Year, DeMarcus Cousins, six man, ended up in Phoenix. Okay, Giannis, even the player of the year, most improved goes to Jason Tatum. That's what we like to see as Celtics fans. And Doc Rivers does get coaches of the year. All I'm saying is if Doc Rivers can't get me a championship this year, he will be getting fired. Nets were the one seed there in the Eastern Conference. Kawhi put up numbers. Same with George Montrez. Harrell put up some serious numbers. Same with Kuzma, Beverly, Shamet. Um, I want Beverly on this team the whole time just because I really like Pat Beverly. I'm hoping I don't have to trade his contract potentially for another starter or something like that. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm honestly feeling comfortable. So... It's going to be us and the Utah Jazz here in the first round. Also, Beverly might not start. Like, I don't know if I just said that or not. I honestly forget already. But he'll at least be coming off the bench, hopefully, for the whole video. I love Pat Beverly. I'm a huge fan of him. I honestly think he was a little underpaid in that contract. But you know what? We're not getting into that right now. So we end up sweeping the Jazz in the first round. The Phoenix Suns are somehow a two seed. I honestly have no idea. I thought we'd be taking on Portland. But it happens. Lakers were a six seed and lost in the first round to Golden State. It's going to be us in Houston here in the Eastern West, excuse me, Western Conference Finals. Then it's Boston and Milwaukee over there in the East. Celtics going to sweep the Bucks, and we go on to gentlemen sweep the Rockets. So, Doc Rivers versus old team. They're looking pretty good, though. I'm still confident. Celtics somehow got George Hill. We end up winning game one, winning game two, winning game three. And you know, we'll be back to the finals, I'm sure. So, I'm not going to be hopping in the first year. We end up sweeping them. And Montres Harrell. Out here winning finals MVP with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, both on this team. So, no reason to fire Doc Rivers at this point. Uh, Matthew Thomas, you have bad ratings. That's the only reason I'm firing you. Sam Cassell, you're gone too. Or, no, excuse me, you can stay. That's what I meant. Uh, Kevin Johnson's going to be our new trainer. Only B trainers, which is unfortunate. We'll get you, and we'll get you. You all want to come to LA? You think you can work with this team? I, th I think you should be able to. Let's head up to the draft now at this point. Draft picks are obviously not a big thing for us. Uh, we did have that Lakers pick that I made a move for. So, anybody here I could potentially look to trade into the draft? Like, Corey Joseph, I wouldn't mind. Um, or this, like, Matthias Lasort guy. So, yeah, I definitely think we can do something there. Because just I don't really want to pay Corey Joseph $12 million a year. It's just not high on my bucket list right now. And we'll also throw this Matthias Lasort guy in along with 22, 24, and 30. And see where I can move up to. Can I maybe move up to, like, pick four? And if I also throw you another second round pick. All right. Well, I had to try. Um, I didn't really think I was going to be able to get four, but I had to give it a try. How about six with the Hornets? And another second as well. And they agree to that. So we now do own pick six. Just going to improve this team even more. Let's see who's going to be sitting there on the board for us at number six. Um, so Wiseman does go first. And it's LaMelo Ball, Theo Maldon, Anthony Edwards, Isaiah Stewart. Okay. So RJ Hampton's still here. And, I mean, I don't need a point guard, but I kind of want one because I want. I would rather have Beverly coming off the bench. So, RJ Hampton's definitely a legitimate option at this point. So is Jade McDaniels. I wouldn't mind him off the bench. Cole Anthony as well. But, you know what? I'm going to take RJ Hampton. Welcome to the Clippers. Definitely think you're going to be able to work with this team here. Um, so, we're going to sign him or draft him, excuse me, 79 overall. Kuzma, you guys can all come back. Robinson's up to a 78 after the G Leagues. And Darius Thornwell, I will not give the qualifying offer to. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't really think we're going to need him. Oh, our old friend Danilo Gallinari is here. Um, so, I mean, at this point, um, okay. Hmm. So, Montres Harrell, we should have bird rights on, which is weird. Um, no, it's not cheating that if I, when I put Montres Harrell back in this team, the Clippers absolutely have bird rights on him. I don't know why I don't right now. Normally I do. I don't know what, did I renounce the rights on him or something? I don't think I did, so I'm going to put him back on this team. If by some chance I renounce the rights on him, my bad, I'll take the hit on that, and then you guys can kind of yap me in the comment section. But, yeah, Montrez Harrell will be back on this team. He absolutely would. He is going to be in real life. They have bird rights on him. It's not really cheating as much as you might want to say it is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm waiting for him. I'm going to wait for him to sign with the team. Um, the rest of these guys can go. Like, it literally says I have bird rights on him. I, I don't get it. Um, but he's going to be back on this team unless something is drastically going to change, and he actually already signed. So, that's good. I can put him back on the team, which is going to be nice. Um, I'm literally just going to put on trade override, get all that done, and I'll see you guys once that's all, like completed. So, yeah, it's not like that unrealistic that I put him back on this team. I mean, the Clippers are absolutely going to have bird rights on Montrez Harrell when it comes to this offseason. It's the way it is. I don't know why he wouldn't be on this team, but it is what it is for now. Um, I'm thinking about maybe packaging Jerome Robinson in this cabin. I can't say that. Um, for a different backup power forward, just because I don't really need a backup for Kawhi. 
and I only go nine man rotation. So if we do U2, and then our 2020 first round pick, which I do not believe was in a trade, very well could have been for some sort of power forward. Uh, we can get Shy Gilgus Alexander back, perhaps. Um, what I was saying, I actually tweeted this out. What if, like, would Russell Westbrook potentially request a trade at this point? Like, yeah, honestly, I could potentially see it happening. Uh, that which would be absolutely crazy if somehow Russell Westbrook ended up on a different team this offseason. Can you imagine? That would be nuts. That would just be so, so crazy. Um, out of bio, I kind of do get a decent amount. Can I sign, like, a JaVale? No, okay. So I couldn't sign a JaVale McGee. Can I sign Derek Favors? No. Um, how much money? Like, Wendell Carter Jr. I don't think I really have the assets for this. Actually, maybe. Jerome Robinson Loki has some trade value to them. And I'll also throw you my 2020 first. And I don't have much left. My 2021 first. And just like that, Wendell Carter Jr. is now a clipper. He's going to be my new backup power forward. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll see you guys at the start of year number two with the rotation. So year number two here, this is what the rotation is going to be looking like. I do want to start Hampton over Beverly. Honestly, if it doesn't go well, I'll give Beverly a start in the third and final season. But Hampton, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Kuzma, and Montrez Harrell. Off the bench, we got Wendell Carter Jr., Patrick Beverly, Avika Zubak, and Landry Shamet. I'm feeling really good about this team once again. We're going for the three-peat in today's video, boys. And I'll catch you guys at the end of this year. So we in year number two with one game worse record than last year. I mean, 62 and 20, still a very good record. Jokic almost a triple-double, does win MVP. Wiseman, rookie of the year. Uh, he was drafted by the Hawks first overall, I believe, right? Unless I'm tripping. Yep, nope, first overall. Dinwiddie, Anthony Davis, still on the Lakers. Darius Garland, most improved. Doc Rivers, once again, and coach of the year. So, you know what? I'm still feeling confident about a championship run with this team. I mean, why wouldn't you? Especially with, like, our new additions. Kawhi, George, Harrell, Kuzma, Hampton put up numbers. I mean, we scored a lot of points. Rebounds was Harrell and assists was Hampton, I believe. Yeah, we scored the most points in the league we did. Defensively, we were also the best mathematically. No way we can't have the best differential then. First round, it's going to be us in the Spurs here. God, this is why I love the NBA offseason. Just because, I like, who is expecting Paul George to get traded this offseason? After he was like, oh, we got unfinished business here in Oklahoma City. Dude signed a four-year max contract extension. And then, dude, also, what is it about players that just hate playing with Russell Westbrook? I mean, is it that? Or is it like they just realize they have no chance to win? Or is it, I don't know, honestly. But I feel bad for Russ, man. I honestly hope he requests a trade and can go somewhere else because the Thunder got to do something with that team. They can't, they're, I mean, they're never winning a championship with just Russell Westbrook. I can promise you that. Um, and so now we're in the NBA Finals. It's going to be us and the Brooklyn Nets, uh, two teams who had quite the off seasons this year, Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving, obviously now on the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, same with DeAndre Jordan. Dinwiddie's still here. Allen, yeah. This is going to be a pretty good matchup. Um, I'm thinking about honestly hopping in if this one is close because, I mean, it's kind of super team versus super team here. Uh, we're up 3-1 on them at the moment. We are heading back to L.A. here for a pivotal game five. And if this one is close, of course, you know your boy will hop in. I'll see you guys in the game. So uh, I'm definitely trying to make sure my starters are in right now because it's not every day I get to use a lot of these guys. I mean, Kawhi, Paul George, I mean, it just doesn't happen often. Kawhi's going to brick a free throw. That's just awesome. Uh, he does have 17 points in the night, though, so RJ Hampton is now in on Kyrie. I'm also not a big fan of a Celtics fan, but you know what? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not going to be salty about it. Beverly in here now for that defense. Oh, Wow. Oh, wow. That was a very, very large dunk from Robinson Earl. I don't know who you are, but yeah, man. Nice dunk. Um, so Kawhi Leonard in here now. Let's kick it back to Paul George a little bit. Paul George wide open. Okay, he was wide open when I took the shot. I mean, they kind of closed down a little bit, but it's okay. Um, PG got only 12 points in the night, unfortunately. They're going to go up to Karis LeVert. I mean, thank God this one's really not within reach because... Also, if you don't know, if this is your first video watching of me, first of all, hello, I'm Massive. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm very, very bad at this game. All I do is pick and rolls, and I full-blown accept it. Um, it's basically... That should be our ball, right? Yeah, it's basically all I know how to do. I can, I know how to icon pass a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't really play games too much. I'm a decent rebuilder, but I, uh, I'm not very good when it comes to hopping in the games. But I do it just because you guys enjoy seeing it, I think, for the most part. If you don't, can you guys actually let me know? Do you enjoy seeing gameplay? Because if you don't, I'll just kind of stop doing it. I don't mean, I don't want to, like not jump in just because like i don't want to but like i do want to jump in and if you guys don't want to see it feel please feel free to let me know down below in the comment section because i i won't if it's not what you guys want to see so all right back to this i don't really should have gotten a steal there that was my bad i'm getting crossed out of my mind here by dinwiddie oh boy oh boy i guess we'll do probably one more offensive possession and then this offseason i'm not going to look to blow it up but i might move look to move montres harrell maybe for like a really good 
I mean, he is a really good center, but just like, I don't know, spice it up a little bit. I don't want to leave the team basically the same way it has been all the other years. Um, that was just not good at all. We'll do one more defensive possession, then finish it off on one more offensive possession, and then we will pretty much call it um, gameplay for the video. Uh, Ku Roots is in right now, Radions, or is, it, is that how you say it? Okay, I don't really know what the foul was there. But, all right, go to the free throw line, I guess, Kurutz. Um, hopefully, he can miss at least one. That would be kind of nice. He does make the first one. Oh, I just realized Kyrie's not even in the game right now. Uh, bold move, I guess, or are you just giving up? Neither is Kevin Durant, but okay. Uh, Kurutz back to the line. It does end up going two for two. So, you know what? I think I'm going to try to take a shot with Paul George. Um, pull up. Come on, baby. Let's go. I'll see you guys at the finals MVP. So I feel like it's either one of two guys, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and yeah, Kawhi Leonard puts up absolute numbers and does win finals MVP. So let's head into the third and final offseason right here. Um, definitely feeling pretty confident about this team. I am going to go ahead and get an A trainer just because I want those three untapped potentials because why not? So we get a new trainer. Let's head up to the draft. I don't think we're going to have any draft picks as well. Uh, no, we do not. So we have a lot of seconds. We have like one first round pick left. So actually, I don't even think we have this first round pick. Yeah, we don't actually. I just didn't have access to my 2024 first. Um, where are the Thunder? Can you want to just give me a future second? Uh, when I made the trade, I didn't have access to my future first round picks. So that's why I couldn't obviously do anything with it. So screw the draft. Paul George is a free agent. And if he doesn't resign here, I'm going to be pretty. Oh, he accepts his player option. That's just awesome. That doesn't normally happen to me a lot. Kuzma is also a free agent. Going to definitely give him the qualifying there. Um, so, free agency, Kyle Kuzma, you want to come back to the Clippers? That would be nice. Um, George's Niang, no thank you, and everybody else, is feel free to leave. So, Kuzma's going to end up getting his qualifying. Uh, it's fine. I don't really care. I'm not trading him anyways. So, what I could potentially do at this point, maybe look to move Hampton. I also do have a mid-level exception, which I could definitely sign somebody with. Oh, if I could have signed Lou Will, that would have been nice. Um, I have a little bit of a mid-level exception, which if I potentially go out and sound like a Gorgie Jang, we can potentially make the money work if I were to look to move Hampton, just to, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. And are we out of first-round picks? I think we honestly are. Yeah, we're out of first-round picks, so let's just throw in a second-round pick from the Detroit Pistons for a different point guard. Uh, I'm not throwing Beverly in pretty much any trade I do get. I don't know who you are, but word. Uh, Theo Malden, Malcolm Brogdon, Capella, Shai Gilgis, Nah, I don't really want to bring him back. All right, together they're making, like, $10 million. I don't really know what point guards here are going to be making, like, less than 10 mil. I mean, Trey Young is here, but I don't have any first-round picks, so there's really no way of that ever happening. Dinwiddie, Lonzo, Sexton, I mean, are any of these guys really that much better? Um, I would think about maybe Sexton for RJ Hampton, and I would also throw you Gorgie Jang who they don't have the money for. Uh, I feel like I got a trade for Sexton. What was it? If I do a Hampton, dang, in a second, I, I believe I got a trade for Colin Sexton. You know what? Do I want to go with Eric Bledsoe? Just I don't want to trade Patrick Beverly, which is what it is. All right. Um, And is there anybody else you could potentially give me that's just, like, not on a good contract at all? Could you give me, like, this guy? Reggie Perry, 1.6 more. Ah. Uh, this is the worst. This is the worst. How about this? Oh, my God. This guy is so much. Yeah, that's just not happening. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't care what you say. I'm not trading Patrick Beverly. It's just not happening. I love Patrick Beverly. Um, okay. I guess I'm leaving it the way it is. Um, I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to see a move, but it's just probably not happening. So maybe I'll look to see what I can get for Harrell. Sure. I'll do Harrell and also throw Jang in this trade. Just a glance. Uh, Boogie, I see. Steven Adams. I mean, at this point, I would probably just leave it the way it is. You know what, Drummond? I'll probably take Andre Drummond. Yeah, screw it. Let's just take Andre Drummond here, third and final year. So we got, let me just double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go try to three-peat. I'll see you guys at the rotation. So for the final year here, third and final season, RJ Hampton, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Kuzma, and Andre Drummond. Off the bench, Wendell Carter Jr., Pat Beverly, Ivica Zubak, and Landry Shamet. I'm feeling really good about this team. Really trying to three-peat. I'll see you guys at the end of year number three. So season number three is over, and we have our best year yet. 72-10. and 10. John Morant, huge shout-out. I mean, his third year out here winning MVP. Uh, Michael Foster, Rookie of the Year. I, again, don't know. LaMelo Ball, six man. Giannis, Jamal Murray, and Doc Rivers does get Coach of the Year. So I'm feeling really good about this team. I mean, why wouldn't I be at this point? Player stats, Kawhi, Kuzma, George, Hampton. Actually, I didn't realize Kuzma 
20 points. He's been like scoring like 16, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, very good from him. I want to try to go to team stats right here, not rookie report. Um, it was points per game. He led the league defensively, only 107 point or only 100.7 points per game. Obviously, the best differential. It's gonna be us in the Portland Trailblazers here in the first round. We're actually down one nothing, but we'll come back. I'm a little bit confident about that one. We're up three one right here, and can we go on to the next round, please? No, seriously. Okay, thank you. I don't know why it took seven games. The Suns just swept the Warriors. So, I mean, they're not the Warriors anymore, but like still. I, I think we should be able to get by the Phoenix Suns, who are still a young team, have the most delusional front office in all of sports. I think many people can agree with that one. Uh, us and the Memphis Grizzlies, MVP, John Morant. Let's let's uh, try to get by them. And it's going to be Atlanta and Philadelphia over there in the Eastern Conference. And it's going to be us and the Atlanta Hawks here in the NBA Finals. Let's check out their team. Mike Conley, that's a great addition. You can play next to Trey Young. I would love to see Trey Young play off ball. That would be nuts. Collins, Wiseman, DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, Kevin Herter. <clears throat> whole lot of good shooters on that team. Here we go. Third straight NBA Finals. Are we going to take it? And yes, we do. We end up sweeping in third different MVP. Paul George getting it done in this video. So, yeah. This was the craziest move, pretty much. I mean, it wasn't the craziest move of the offseason because, like, Anthony Davis. But, like, I feel like everybody knew Anthony Davis was going to happen. Like, it was, like, expected. But, like, it also wasn't. So, I don't know. But I love this move by the Clippers. Huge shout-out to their front office. Finally getting the superstars they deserve. The superstars they want after the whole era of CP3, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan just went to shit. Never could make it out of the second round. I think this team's going to do something special. So let me know your thoughts on the trade down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the signing of Kawhi Leonard as well. Um, along with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and make videos pretty much on the daily. I'm very excited. I'll probably be doing a new look Thunder rebuild tomorrow with Russell Westbrook where I may end up trading him. So let me know what I should do about that down below in the comment section as well. Go follow your boy on Twitter. Links in the description as always. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.